Halo 404 boxing. All right, y'all. So in this sport of boxing that we love so much, um, fighters are put in opportunities that sometimes aren't foreseen. Sometimes they are presented in the 11th hour and those fighters have to make a decision. Do they take an opportunity and try to seize the moment and risk going in there unprepared for what's ahead of them and taking a taking a loss? Or do they look at it as an opportunity to advance their careers beyond what the regular scheduled opportunities would be? Should they not take this opportunity? To me, when Hector Garcia was presented with the opportunity to go fight Chris Colbert, he made the right decision by going ahead and saying that, or making the decision to, as if he's unconcerned about the fact that he has an odor preserve, but there's an opportunity that is far greater than him staying on his on his traditional schedule. Um, him taking the opportunity to fight Colbert on two weeks notice was an opportunity that could fast track him to a title shot. Um, whether it works out that way or not, we don't know. But what we do know is that when given the opportunity, he took it, fought Colbert on short notice. Colbert one of the um, rising stars in the sport, one of the bigger stars in the division. And Colbert probably would have been favored um, to beat Roger Gutierrez had they been fighting on t on last night instead of Garcia. I don't. I didn't look to see what the odds were before that fight got nixed. But what I do know is that he was favored um, pretty heavily to beat Garcia. Garcia went out there and, and showed his medal, showed that he was uh, truly the better fighter, showed what he learned throughout the course of his career as a professional in his 14, well, excuse me, he actually had 17 professional fights, um, 14 of which he won, 10 of which he won by KO, no losses, but he also has three no contests, which I do not know what the circumstances are around those no contests, whether it's accidental fouls, head, but whatever, I don't know. But what I do know is that he came into this fight with an older protect if that's the mentality um, that he had. Um, he surely protected his record and preserved it, regardless of whether he had an O coming in or not. He, he didn't leave with a, a another one in the loss column, which is uh, the most important thing um, that could have came out of this. It wasn't a matter of how he won. He needed to win this fight, and he did so. Just as Cobra needed to win this fight, and he came up short. So what what um, Garcia was able to do, in my opinion, put him in a position to where he should get the fight versus WBA super featherweight champion Roger Gutierrez, who right now stands with a record of 26 and three with 20 KOs and two KO losses, but is on a seven fight win streak. That is who I feel like Garcia should get the opportunity to fight next. I don't feel like Garcia should have to go back and fight Colbert in a excuse me in a rematch. I don't feel like he should have to. He, I don't feel like he should have to beat Colbert twice to get the opportunity to fight Garcia. Excuse me to fight Gutierrez. I feel like what he was able to do last night, especially in the fashion in which he was able to do it, um, the dominance in which he was able to display, I feel like he left no doubt that he's deserving of a shot against Gutierrez. Now, whether or not that shot presents itself, I don't know. We we know this is a sport of boxing and things that seemingly um, should just happen naturally don't happen. Um, sometimes there's politics involved, whereas, you know, so Colbert in his camp could have had an agreement to fight Gutierrez because everything um, between the two parties was ironed out seamlessly. But whereas with Garcia... There could be a lot of red tape to making the fight. We just don't know. We have to wait and see. But I'm hopeful that none of that stuff gets in the way. I feel like this young man has, has uh, put his stamp on 
where he stands in the division and that he's deserving of the opportunities that he's created for himself by seizing the moment, by, by taking advantage of the opportunity that was presented to him and taking a, a chance and betting on himself, as we like to say, and he went out there and he got the job done. So much respect to him for a job well done. I'm very impressed. And I'm eager to see the young man fight again because if last night is any indication of, of who and what he is and what he brings to the table and what he can do in the ring, um, he's worth the price of admission. That's all I got on it. D-Lo 404 Boxing. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'm out. Peace.